Hi everyone and welcome to my place. Spring is in my garden, especially here in the Southern Hemisphere. For those of you who would like to know what to do with your spring flowers, I have got you covered. I absolutely love the fact that I can bring the outdoors indoors and I can enjoy it because it's still just a little bit cold outside. I'll be back in a minute to show you what you need to put this together. And these are the things that you need. I've got a lovely cane basket here and I love these baskets because you can buy them with the plastic already inside them. Perfect. So it's not going to leak anywhere. And what I've done is I've just got a round mound of, or a ball of the oasis. And what I've done is I've cut a hole into the middle of it, big enough to put my glass, and you will see why in a moment. And then what I've done is I've just started to put the moss around the outside because I don't want to see the foam at all. Now I've got some beautiful pyrus over here with a lovely lily of the valley tree. I've got some daffodils. I love it when the daffodils are out. And I've got a couple of kale over here I've got some gerberas and hey look at this everyone isn't this just fantastic I have been saying to the growers for years and years and years why don't you put little wee sleeves even a, a, I think I said one day use a, a um, straw or something to keep the heads up because the heads invariably always drop and they used to have those stupid plastic sleeves around there well they were hopeless as well but I think that this is just such a fantastic idea to keep that little head up. I've also got some irises here which I absolutely love and the reason I'm using the, this, this colourway is I've got the yellow gerberas to go with the yellow daffodils, I've got the, the yellow is also reflected through into the irises and I've got that bluey purpley colour that's also going to reflect down here into the kale. I love kale. And the other thing is with the pyrus here, that will, that's got that lovely sort of like limey yellowy colour on it, plus it's also got this dark colour here which is going to be reflected in through the cane. Fantastic. If, so if you are ever stuck and you think, oh I don't know what to do, I don't know what colours or what to do, if, especially if you're using primary colours, just have a look at them and see what's in them. See, you know, yellows with yellows, yellow into the blue there, and just bring all your colours together and you'll never go wrong. Right, to start, the other thing I've got here is, this is off my pear tree and I love this branch. So I'm just gonna cut that, I should have had my secateurs. Now this is the type of arrangement that, oh, once you've got it set up and in place, this can just, as the spring flowers die off, you can just replace them because you're going to have your main structure. Now the other reason I love to use the pear tree at this time of the year, very, very soon, if I keep this in a warm place and really watered well, the blossom will start to come on the pear tree. I just really love that. And even an arrangement just with a few branches and then a few flowers around the bottom, fantastic. Now you're probably looking at this glass and thinking why has she got that glass in there? All is going to be revealed very very soon. So I want this to be sort of like rustic and sort of like representational of like in the garden and bringing the garden in. Fantastic arrangement if you've got an elderly parent or somebody sick in a hospital and you want to bring the outdoors indoors, this is fantastic. And it's really lovely to see the blossoms sort of starting to emerge. Fantastic. Right, the next thing to go into here are going to be my irises. Now, see how the leaves are all starting, some of these leaves are all starting to fall, fall over? Just take those off now because I want to be the one in control of what falls and what droops. So just whip those off. And the other thing I'm going to do is, I'll leave that one there, that will be fine for now. These here are just going to all just be pushed into there like so. Get down into there. Don't move, don't move. So they sort of, and the other thing is if you're ever stuck wanting to know, you know, where do I place them, how do I place them? For this type of arrangement, these grow in a clump together. So group them in a clump. They also grow up high. So I always think that that's a nice way to place them. Right, getting rid of this mess as we go. Right, from there I've got the beautiful gerberas. So what I'm going to do is take those out of there and then I find the best way of working with these is to actually keep them as low as you can 
because their little heads are going to droop anyway so keep them low and also because this is sort of going to be like a grouped arrangement try and keep everything grouped and low like I'm doing here now so just push that down into there so this is sort of like going to be like a, I call this graduation it's graduating from the base up but usually I start at the top and work my way down because I find that it's much much easier way of working and also with keeping these short and as tight in there as you can what you'll find is that they won't get that group on which is what they do now i had a request from one of my girls in the uk who was doing an arrangement using gerberas the best way forward if you're using these in an arrangement is to get a big bit of wire and actually stick that wire gently right up that stem until you almost imagine that the top the head was on that up into there so the head was onto there and push that just ever so slightly into the flower and that will keep you all balanced and the head sitting nice and straight right the next thing I want to do is to use some Paris which I'm just going to stick to come out that side like I'm doing here and when you're picking, the lovely thing about the Paris at this time of the year is it will last for a long time as well. And I also like to watch it all coming into bloom as, it, as the season progresses. Now, and I'll take that around and into there like this. So it's, it's sort of like falling out and that's the natural place that you would plant it, you would place it anyway, because that's how it grows when you're looking in at the, at the tree. That's when I was doing, um, was teaching floristry years and years and years ago, when I got new students, I used to take them outside and insist that they actually physically look at how things were growing to know how to place them. Right, the next thing is, and this is where the glass comes in, what I've done, I'm going to do now, is I'm going to put some water into that glass. I need to tell you about daffodils. Daffodils, although they are absolutely beautiful, when you put those in with other flowers, out the base here, you will find that there is a clear liquid that comes out. That actually will poison your other flowers. So I always take the, leave them and design with them singly in a glass. The other great thing you can use is if you don't have a, wine glasses and the base falls off, happens at my place all the time because my guests are a bit rough. But what I do is I use, when that base comes off, that wee round foot bit, what I do is I use those wine glasses clear just a little bit of sandpaper and smooth off the surface of the rough bit of the glass and then you could use that I'll show you how to do that another day right daffodils also grow in a clump and what I wanted to do was just to put those to naturally just be placed into there with the kale because I've got a little bit of a space down here and also because these are quite big and thick and heavy take those down into the base of your design now these also will last a long time now I bought these last week and they were all perfect, perfect, perfect. So these bits here are all the little bits that are starting to die off. So just take all of those off now so that you don't have to worry about getting into those, um, taking those out as out as you know like ripping them off that can the design as they're dying off um, the other thing is these here into fresh water they will make the water go stagnant and it stinks the great thing the great way to get rid of water that's going off or to keep it clean is to put sometimes I use an aspirin or I'll use a little bit of um, bleach just put that into the water the same stuff that they use in swimming pools right and that can just go into there like so so everything as i look at it it's got that i'm looking at the beautiful paris over here i've got these lovely lovely um gerberas and then the daffodils just left as if they were growing that is a long-term arrangement that will just go on and on and on as i said before as things die off just whip them out and you can replace them I hope you've enjoyed that. Happy spring from me. See you another day.